Hi, Sagittarius. So your all signs reading that I just posted as I'm recording this today, 10, 11 on the clock, by the way, is kind of feeling very specific and we're going to get you another reading here just in case you feel that your Sagittarius placement was not fairly represented. <laughs> it felt like someone's story, you know, well, that's just me, but I'm going to get you another reading here, Sagittarius, so that we can have more of a general vibe, but we'll see. Okay, so this is going to be you and someone in your environment and the dynamic in between. So Sagittarius, I actually already started your reading and I was almost done. And then the yard people came and it was so loud. And Spirit said, you know, just redo it. And I said, okay. But in that reading, I'm going to tell you, you have someone flirting with you. This could be someone that you are working with. This could be someone that's actually hiring you for your services. And they want to actually flirt with you. Just saw one, one, one there. So show me Sagittarius. It's a new energy. So show me Sag in this reading. The star card, lovely. Oh, you're actually in a wonderful vibe, <laughs> okay. I'm getting that you're untouchable. You are untouchable, Sagittarius. There's something about you and your energy currently that is shining and is super very attractive and you're attracting a lot of good vibes coming your way. In whatever field of work you do, you're going to be receiving a lot more exposure here. There's this element of healing that's been taking place in your life and you're reaping some sort of re reward here big time. It's huge. It's humongous. This is what dreams are made of is what I'm hearing. Now, some of you, you may be receiving a level of fame, a level of exposure that you had not previously experienced and whatever community or capacity that that is in. So you're going to be soaring high here in the coming period. So I see that there's something very untouchable about you. Let me see this person who's in your reading. In other news, a side note here, you may be holding back, keeping space from a Leo or from a Aquarius, like you're trying to stay friend zoned. All right, so let's see the person in your reading. Who is it? Lots of cards here. Okay. Yeah, first and foremost, I will tell you, you have a new beginning here that's coming in with someone. You also may be experiencing a reconciliation coming your way. So let me see the person in your reading. Judgment. Yep, there it is. All right. And the five of wands. Hmm. Oh, okay. Five. Okay. Sagittarius, here you are. You've been doing a lot of work, study, not a whole lot of play. It looks as though you had a concern that you needed to manage properly and you put blood, sweat, and tears into that there. You did all your work, everything that was owed, you paid up, okay? Whether that's financial or actually energetic because you really had to get something done and it's made you feel that you needed more space from people in your life in general. There's something about you feeling, you know, you're not interested in hearing other people's opinions or people trying to tell you what you're doing is right or wrong or casting judgment upon you. You don't seem to be very open to that right now. This is like, I got to hunker down and get things done. And you have, which is why you're moving into the star here. 
Now, you also, this person, may be dealing with this person here who is trying to have a new beginning with you, who is trying to resurrect your situation in the midst of you feeling pressured and stressed in your daily life in general. Somehow you may have taken on a lot more work than usual. You had like more of a workload. I'm hearing freelance, so that could be a message for somebody, but you felt like you really needed to manage your worldly concerns here so that you could have peace so you could be at peace in your environment in your home life and because you had so many obligations here maybe even of other people you felt like it was full like max capacity i'm not trying to take on any more energy or any more tasks i can't i'm full right so you had a full schedule full days and this person is one of those people who's showing up and you may feel hey look i have to figure things out this is not the time give me some space right you may also feel like this person's adding to your sense of responsibility or they're somehow making your life a little bit more strained or stressful than it needs to be. This is not how it needs to be. You are not interested in frivolous exchanges or you have not been. You may feel that this could easily spiral and bring you to some sort of emotional cycle that you're not wanting to experience. And this is someone who's been seeing that you've kind of walled up here or you've changed your energy toward them where they feel not as welcome as before. Okay, so this may be... Mm. I'm going to refrain from naming a sign just yet, but we'll get to it. We'll see what comes out here. Something feels a little ambiguous. So they are currently feeling sad. They want some more clarity. They're kind of in the dumps emotionally, especially about being left out of your life. They don't like that at all. Not one bit. So there's efforts coming in here. Yeah, the Five of Cups. That's them for sure. Yep, and the moon, of course. That's exactly how it came out right there. <laughs> so, Saj, you are aware that this person is feeling not the best. You are aware of that. You're aware that maybe they've been sad. They could have experienced, you know, some heartache relating to you. And it's mostly because of being distant from you. So you know that they don't prefer to be distant. They don't prefer to not be close. They want to be closer. And you may see that this is someone who they have a lot of regret. And they're in like a fearful energy here. Let me see. So Scorpio Mars could be the person you're dealing with. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Sagittarius, you're achieving something very significant that you've been wanting for a long time. Yeah, there it is. Like, I'm getting this energy of you mastering your pentacle energy you're mastering finances you're mastering energy input and output the flow of earth and how it works in your life i'm hearing mandatory so you were put in a position to have to solve something i'm getting riddle me this so you didn't know how you would solve some financial or practical concern in your life involving physical reality but you're doing so well i feel at first there could have been a concern about that now this is someone who sees that you're focused here. They see that you may not have as much time as you used to. There's something or someone else that you are focused on according to them. And you're giving a lot of attention to that and not necessarily toward them here. So let me see what's behind. Yeah. 
they feel like you're quite busy. You're keeping busy. You're being stable. You have a new energy about you. You have this routine and you have success coming your way. I just want to tell you that again. You feel world card. Okay. The Knight of Swords. Okay. This is someone that you do see far away from you. Maybe they live at a distance or you're just keeping space and distance here. You may know that there's communication coming in or it's just a matter of time that someone wants to communicate. I see that you're dreaming about them quite a bit or this is them. There's like dream space, astral energy. There's some sort of dream-like energy here. So you may feel that this person comes in with like frivolous words or they say things that are meant to kind of get you to change your mind or get you to feel something differently. And I don't see that you want that right now because this could be someone who's trying to sway you. Eight of Swords. Wow. So, someone is like trying to release themselves from a prison, from a cell, from like a space that they're very confined in. This is how they're feeling. So, sometimes that could be quite literally. <laughs> so, I, I mean, maybe somebody's coming out of, you know, the pen, sure. Uh, side note, clearly. But, Anyway, I'm seeing this person here feeling quite at a loss with you. They're trying to communicate their needs, their desires, their wishes, all kinds of concerns here. But that now may not be the time or now you may not want to. And they feel at a loss about that because... They really do want to communicate further, communicate more so that they can actually have clarity so that you guys can release these, these binds. Okay, what binds you here? Bonds. Bon, James Bond. I'm also getting Bonnie. Bonnie. So this person... Wow, Hierophant. Seven of Pentacles, lots of Taurus energy. All right. You want to know that what you've invested is worthwhile. And you want to know that it counts. You want to know that your time, your energy, resources, your money, all the things that you've invested here are going to pay off in long term. And I see that you may have some doubts about this, but you have that financial foliage energy here. Let me see. Six of Pentacles again. And the two of pentacles. Okay. <laughs> Camera view is a little interesting. I don't know why it changed, but hey. Okay. They want to play with you, is what they're saying. Come out and play. Be involved with me. Let's have fun. Let's go out to eat. Let's do something. I see that they're trying to make this contact with you in like a fun way or a way that you're going to feel is worthwhile because they're having this realization. about changing the direction of your relationship right now. Tell me one on them here. Yeah, the death card. So this could be a Scorpio. Real strong energy. It's either that or someone's experiencing the energy of Scorpio here. So you have this person looking at you while you may not being, be paying them much attention here. 
they're trying to establish a form of consistency and they're seeing that they need to change the way that you guys are re relating right now and make those changes so they're going to be taking the action toward you they want to revive this from the dead you likely have had an ending with this person before this could be a repetitive thing for some you seem to be keeping your space but this is not what this person wants they don't want to be at a distance they want actually more love more romance they're going to apologize and there's something that they know they want to take accountability for they want to tell you that Oh my gosh, son, you're achieving some amount of fame, exposure, you're being seen in a new way, and you may feel that that's what this person is seeing about you. You may have a concern like, you're only coming in because you see that I'm doing well, or you want to be a part of my world, you want this you know, magical star energy to rub off on you. You may have concerns of this sort, but I am seeing this is a, like a wish of yours that's coming true. It's coming to fruition where you're finally set free and you're finally being seen for all you've done prior. You're very happy and you know that they see this. Or you will be. The moon, yeah, the moon came out here as well. And the six of swords. You, you know that they're sad, that there are some regrets happening. This may be some sort of regret or um, very deep emotional energy this person is going through. But to you, you feel that they have kind of gotten over it or they're in the process of getting over it. Okay, you're kind of like, I don't have time for that, or I don't have time to feel, you know, mushy gushy or something along those lines with this person. It doesn't make sense to you, but I see that they actually, mm, they're actually not over it. You may feel that they are, they're not over your dynamic, they're not over the relationship. It's almost like, you know, something ended. We never had closure. We never had understanding. It was just some amount of like ghosting or some amount of questions that never were answered. They were unanswered. And so you're saying, well, they must be over it that, you know, you're like, I don't know why they did that. Wow, the Six of Pentacles. Wow, the Ten of Swords. Something happened between you two with the ending that it was rough. It was a rough ending with this Ten of Swords. Okay, so there could literally be painful endings, some amount of betrayal or hurt that was caused because of that. And it makes you feel like, you know, you're still keeping space, you're still keeping distance. However, you also know that this is someone trying to sneak back in the door here, or you will. You may feel that you've already put all that behind you that it's time for you to step into your true passion and i see that for some of you the ending actually freed up some space in your life for you to explore your passion and to explore your financial energy here yeah you're achieving some success in your career in your field what you do with your time there's acknowledgement there's some amount of visibility or fame in your circle and whatever type of circle this is and they see you doing this if you're wondering yes they do okay 
you know, the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there you are. So the Temperance. This person feels that your focus is not on them. And I would say that's pretty accurate. They don't sense that you're even looking their way. But they are seeing you master the pentacles. So when it comes to your relationship, this is a person who feels they have this strong urge and strong desire to express to you some amount of feeling and to alleviate the energy right now. They want to alleviate feeling stuck, feeling trapped, not making progress. However, they feel that you may not be up for that. Like this is a person saying, you know, Sagittarius may not be wanting to speak to me. Maybe they're not interested and they have a lot of questions about that, but they still want to come in with an offer, even if it means that they're going to face you turning them down or you rejecting them here. Okay. Like they're having difficulty reserving this energy, reserving what they're feeling. Like they cannot stay away because they feel such a strong urge that they want to act on it, even if you may not reciprocate or be welcoming. So I feel like they're kind of concerned you're going to reject them. Nine of Swords. Oh. You're looking forward to putting everything behind here. That's the one thing that you've been looking forward to. No stress, no worry, no concern. You don't want any of that. I see that you experienced quite a bit in this dynamic. Like maybe, maybe you've felt that this person has given a lot of stress that was unnecessary or maybe toward the end it felt this way. You're just ready to let it go, like not holding grudges, not, you know, it's like you're moving into a new phase here. Yeah, the world. Two of swords, see, I told you. So the two of swords and the six of wands, you guys have to call a truce or this is like your internal truce where I don't feel angry. I don't feel sad. I don't feel happy. I'm neutral. You want to be Switzerland. You are looking forward to kind of just not feeling a darn thing here. I'm not interested in being stressed and I'm also not interested in feeling happy. But right now your mind is on success. And toward this energy, it looks like I just want to put the past behind. Like, can we be at peace here? You're talking about peace. And to you, it's like... Like releasing and not holding those grudges. So this person oh my gosh the four of swords yeah again the four of swords the ten of cups the seven of wands here's what's up this is someone who they are trying to take accountability for something they said or did or however this ended has left them feeling in shambles which is why they're trying to revive it to begin with they are respecting the fact that their offers or i'm hearing generic so maybe there's a generic brand of something i'm seeing medication i don't know what that is maybe this is like ibuprofen or something but this person is 
realizing they need to take accountability for the situation as it stands right now this would indicate cause and effect what happened back there is why we're experiencing this pause or why sagittarius is you know not wanting to interact with me right now that they're realizing this is my bed i'm gonna lie in it okay so whoever this is is feeling um you know I have to respect Sagittarius's choices. I have to respect that Sagittarius may not want to be giving this attention right now or giving me attention right now. And so I'm going to make peace with that. That's exactly what they're doing. So why don't we see the next two weeks between you and this person? You guys are both talking about peace here. Sagittarius and this person. next two weeks the three of cups seven of swords nine of pentacles yeah so it's a very quiet energy the six of pentacles again it's a very quiet energy if you do speak to this person it's very light it's very airy it's very um you know superficial maybe or it's kind of not too deep and you may also just be avoiding getting deep with this person or speaking to them as well. Because what's happening is more so that people are in the nine of pentacles. It's on their own, okay? So even though there's communication being attempted, it's not coming through. This is reminding me of the all signs we just did for you. This person will be trying to reach out to you. Now, in the all signs, there was a message for Sagittarius about someone using an alias account to message you or talk to you. I see that here. Others of you, this is someone using friends to communicate to you. They're using a friend to have an in, to get information about you, to follow you on your social media platform. You look like you're like an influencer or, or, or some sort of, some level of exposure, whatever that is to you. Okay. It can be different in any community, but this person sees you as like you know, you're a big deal. And so other people around them may have access to you and they're keeping tabs on you in this way. So even though they're trying to, you know, be to themselves, left to their own devices, whatever this is, they're still having threads of communication toward you in the next two weeks. King of Pentacles. So you guys may have some uh, Virgo energy coming in. Aquarius, Libra, Cancer. Yeah, there's a friend here that's communicating on their behalf or like a fake account. I am seeing that. Eight of Cups. There it goes. So the Two of Pentacles, you don't really want to go back and forth here with this person. You don't, you know, I'm hearing flatulence. Wow, maybe somebody's gassy. Um, I've never really gotten that before. Okay, so there's flatulence anyway you it's either you or this person okay maybe that's something that played into this i'm seeing that you don't have the emotional desire to go back and forth here okay you guys may have friends in common you guys share some friends or like i said there's someone going between to get contact to you without uh, direct it's indirect communication indirect contact words of wisdom for sagittarius Words of wisdom. This is one of my Sagittarius energies. I love this for you so much. Okay. Um, follow your heart. Okay, so we have the prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. In the coming period, Sagittarius, you are being guided to tap into your true self, your heart space energy. What makes you feel alive? What makes you happy? What makes you laugh? There's a period of play that's entering your experience and you're being called to play with the energy to float and dance with the energy because this is going to be such a free fun 
energy for you, like a free spirited vibe is coming in, you're going to feel like yourself again. Spirit wants you to follow your heart, follow how you feel, and don't be afraid to have fun and let loose. Maybe watch a comedy if you want to laugh or go to like an improv. There's something very fun and energetic here that you're being called to like float with. Okay. I'm getting the energy of floating. So you're going to feel like you're floating. You're going to feel cloud nine. This is all about playing as if you were childlike again, and really understanding that, you know, sometimes we work and then other times we play. So there's a work life balance here, work play balance that's coming in. And I see that now you will have the time to play, to celebrate, to laugh, to spend time with friends and friends are really going to help you get your mind off of those energies that are not really serving you. It's not really serving you to stay, you know, connected to energies that are dumpy. It feels like dumps. Okay. So the red goddess playfulness is a spiritual power laughter leads me back to the light laugh laugh about it have fun do something you really love something that makes you feel alive so you can float again okay are you levitating i feel like you might be levitating do you know how to levitate okay but this is all about you having that exposure that visibility if you are an influencer or you do have an online account i see that you're going to be so seen heard and this is going to make you love it there's something here about you tapping into the fun, playful energy that you already have and showing it to the world, they're going to appreciate you for this. So you're on the path of abundance. So have fun with it. So who, words of wisdom for the person in Sagittarius's reading. Oh, okay. So the warrior of light, I have a seal like faith in myself, the angels armor me with conviction. This is kind of one of those energies that I want to say is difficult, but also beneficial. So it's kind of difficult to say that because in the moment, we may not feel that way. Why do I have to feel sad? Why do I have to feel pain? Why do I have to feel these things, right? Why are things bad in the world? That's the energy that this person in your reading, Sagittarius, is experiencing. But this is serving as kind of a lesson to them, unfortunately, okay? Sometimes in life, we go through things that we may not want to go through, but it gives us a different understanding of what it's like to be on the other side of things, okay? This person will be changing a behavior. This is someone who's being called to reflect on some cycles or patterns in their personal life that is causing them a great deal of pain. So Our Lady of the Hermits, the Black Madonna, I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. This is all about understanding what is not working and rebuilding themselves. So this person is going through an experience where they have a moment to reflect. They have, remember we said, I made my bed, I lie in it. That's what they're doing. They're reflecting on patterns in their life that they may have had for a long time from childhood that they're seeing, I need to modify my life if I want to experience something differently. This is someone who's overcoming uh, some sort of like a victim-like behavior or being on the receiving end of like bad energy, they're becoming the victor. They're becoming the person who has power, who has control over their experience, as opposed to rolling over and completing this and then doing it again. They're being called to change something big time. Okay. There's a lot of reflecting, a lot of learning that's taking place. And in the end, this is someone who will have more confidence and they, they're a 
warrior. This is a warrior energy person. They do not give up. When they believe in something, they go after it full-fledged. Or this is the energy they're going to move into. They are very, um, they know how to tap into that inner drive, that inner warrior spirit so that they can stand up for what they believe, they can stand up for what they want and they're learning from this experience right now and how to change it moving forward, okay? So Sagittarius, it's time for you to have fun sometimes, let loose sometimes and play, Okay, and I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Feel free to check your other placements. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tony down the street, check their placements too so we know what everybody in the world is up to. Kisses. Bye. It's bye. Signing off.